This is Linda Stuckey with your weekly speech and voice tip. Some people may argue that Americans have learned to be sloppy speakers because they aren't very precise with their diction and reduce or eliminate sounds and words. But we often minimize or even eliminate sounds logically and conveniently to create a smooth, natural flow of speech. Here is an example. In writing speech, when an unimportant word that begins with an H sounds, such as he or his, her, or have, when these words are followed or follow a word that ends in a consonant like will, that was the L in will, the H sound is actually eliminated. And the final consonant of the first word is linked to that H word. Here's an example. Will he becomes Willie. Will he come to the meeting? Should have becomes should have. We should have known. Listen as I compare the precise way and the less precise way. Will he, Willie, should have, should have. Here's a fine line to consider here. Pronouncing will he as two separate words versus linking them gives a slightly different sound, one that is formal and one that's informal. Both are appropriate in certain settings. Non-native English speakers need to learn to use linking more often to create natural sounding speech. But perhaps native English speakers need to learn to use slightly more precision to sound more formal. The time that I received an email from an American who actually spelled out could have in the email was the time that I thought that perhaps it had gone just a little bit too far. Be careful with your speech, and if you want to improve how well someone understands, you might consider learning American linking techniques.